matter of you. For friends such as yourself, a jet's fine. Well, Kev is in the person, not fine. Well, with our kind of state of affairs. I mean, how can anyone be damned Congress? Hell, he didn't Congress. This is an official act. You know, I think the United States is trying to keep a streak of isolationism. No official wars. Yeah, and all this does is provide yet another example of self-contradiction within our nation for the world to gaze upon and laugh at. Well, when you put it like that, I can't help but laugh myself. Such bitter irony.
should introduce myself. Hi, I'm Leroy Jenkins. So I do it live. You're right. What did I say to say? Hey, kid, you need to talk? You know full well I don't have much time for talking, old man. The man asked you a simple question. Why don't you just go on and blow And this man is voluntary. How did you do it? Then why did he say that you... I was enlisted for jaywalking. For service. Not something that happens very often. What would you do to make him do that? Well, like I said, jaywalking. I don't think he likes me very much. He doesn't like anyone. Don't take it personally. You know, that might be the most insightful thing you've said in your life, Jeff. Heads up, y'all. General dude. Attention, sir! All right, here's the order of business, cupcakes. Australia has about 0.2% of this world's oil, so this higher shit is impacting on so many levels. But this isn't an official act of war, and all Congress just so happens to be a little St. James right now, Giving about sixty thousand dollars of taxpayer money for the pizza and hot dog, which totally is the jargon used to describe marriage and the human trafficking, which formerly run by Jeffrey Epstein, Otis has free reign. Now it's yet, so I don't know the location of the yellow, but if we said it too large for a troop, then they'll find us immediately. So while everyone who currently isn't fighting in the Middle East will be occupying the Australian troops, your job is to go in there, find the location of the oil, relay it to us, and get the hell out of there. Keep you updated on the state of the home front while you're gone. Your transportation leaves in 30 minutes. We clear? Sir, yes, sir!
This is Anchor Tim here with the President of the United States, Mr. Kurt Sand. Mr. President, what do you have to say regarding the conflict? Oh, uh, the war. So the, the updates I've been getting from the general tell me that uh, the Australian Army has suffered heavy losses, and there's currently a stalemate in Brisbane. I mean, as long as we get the oil, I'm, I'm fine. We'll all be fine if we get the oil. I mean democracy! Democracy equals money! Money equals power! That actually Hey, before I go into more detail, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my man Kim over here. I mean, I don't know how how words talk to you uh, help me. I mean, might as well make him <laughs> This is Anchor Tim with Excuse News signing off. What the hell were you thinking? What did you not like my compliment? You nearly ruined my cover. Do you remember the deal? Do you remember who got you into office? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Well, next time, memorize your damn script. All you do is order me around. I'm the president. I'm a big boy. I'm the one that's supposed to be doing the ordering around here. It ain't my fault I would have picked up what Epstein was putting down. All I can do is be done with their bills for God's sake. Tim is getting news, doesn't want the people hearing about his contributions. Come to think of it, it wasn't Kurt Sands' campaign almost solely sponsored by a few. You're that guy from the news three years ago. You're the one who killed 12 members of a local street gang named Jay Walking. It was the massacre of a century, or at least that's the way the news pundits put it. So your government said I should either be summarily executed or join the army.
let's find that oil, and then we can kill each other. Right? Right. And don't you ever get in my way again. both know how distraught teenagers can be, so I'm gonna go find him before he, I don't know, makes out with a kangaroo or something. Hey, don't give me any ideas, boy. All right, I'll go scout on ahead. I'm going west. We'll rendezvous here once the Daniels settle down. Yes, sir. Oh, and uh, hey, Roy, tell Daniel I'm sorry. What?
can't control me anymore. You're right. I won't. Free! Free! He's not American. He's the scum of the earth. So why do you say we take that skin man down? Yeah! Hoorah!
still cloistered in his office, unavailable for interviews. In the meantime, all messages will be relayed directly to myself, the vice president, or the senate, depending on the severity. Why don't the masses ask us something this time? In a while since they passed me on you all that you know, it's such impeccable timing. Viewers, it looks like we have some special guests, or shall I say, uninvited guests. Be gone, insolent fools. I have no desire to be with the lies. Thank you. 